Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about electron configuration. So what scientists have done is they have figured out how much, where they can find an electron. So if you take an arbitrary um, hydrogen atom, it has one electron. But we can't say that the electron is going to be here, or we can't say it's going to be here at any given time. So what scientists have done is they have measured where the electron locates itself. And they have noticed that in a hydrogen atom, it locates itself in a sphere. And it is anywhere in the sphere at about 90% of the time. The other 10% of the time, it's outside of the sphere. The sphere is really important because it helps us know where the electron spends most of its time so we can study the bonding of a hydrogen atom. So the way um, we're going to write our electron configurations is easy. I'm going to show you my periodic table of elements, and this one is already split into the different shaped orbitals. So the blue columns here are s orbitals, and an s orbital is exactly like it sounds, it's a sphere. And these yellow elements right here are p orbitals, and the p orbitals look something like this. And then here's your fluorine atom, let's say, and they look like this. So the electron spends 90% of its time in either this side or this side. The d orbitals are here, and the f orbitals are these green ones. And they get a little more complicated, so we won't be going into those, but maybe in a future video. So for our first example, we're going to look at the helium atom. And the helium atom has two electrons and it has two valence electrons. If you, want, no, if you don't know anything about valence electrons, look at the previous video, which is um, the electron dot video, and it'll show you how helium works. So helium can also be written way over here beside hydrogen for our purposes, all right? Because helium has two electrons. So to count its electron configuration, we see the group it's in. It's in group one. So it's 1, and it's in the blue side, so it's S, and it has two electrons, so like that. Now, the 1S orbital can only hold two electrons, all right? So when you draw out a helium atom, it has two electrons that spend its time in the 1s orbital. So that's a 1s2 configuration. Let's pick something a little harder. How about fluorine? All right, a fluorine atom is, uh, has nine valence electrons. So let's count. We have 1s1, 1s2. So let's go back and write that on our paper. So fluorine has 1s2, so it has two electrons in the first s shell. And then we come down here, and we see that the next shell is 2s2. So we go back and write that here. 2s2, it has two electrons in that shell. We come back to the table, and we see in row two, it's now in the p orbitals, and we have one, two, three, four, five electrons in the p orbital. So we're gonna go two, because it was in row two, p, because it was a yellow element, and it had five electrons there. Now fluorine had nine electrons in total, like we said, and how we can know if we did this right is that these little numbers should add up right, so add up to nine. So there's two electrons here, two here, and five here. And that equals nine. So that means we've accounted for all the electrons in fluorine. So I'll draw a picture of this for you so you can just see how it looks. All right. So fluorine, is in, its nucleus is in the center right here. And it has two electrons floating in its 1s shell. And then it has two more electrons floating in its 2s shell. And the 2s shell is bigger because it's further down on the periodic table. And then it has five electrons in its 2p shells. Now 2p's are hard to see. 1p shell looks like this and 
has two electrons in here. And the next pea shell looks like this, has two electrons in here. All right. And the third pea shell only has one electron because we only have five, but we have room for six. So, but that one pea shell is coming out towards you. And so I'm going to draw it like this, and then there's one behind it. All right, and it's coming out towards you and then back into your, into your screen. So that P orbital is coming out towards you. It has one electron in it. So we've counted for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine electrons. Hopefully that helps you with electron configuration, and stay tuned.